In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on May 12, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Heat vs. Philadelphia 76ers The Miami Heat can advance to the Eastern Conference Finals if they knock off the Philadelphia 76ers at the Wells Fargo Center on Thursday. A lopsided thrashing was the story for the Sixers in a nightmare performance in Game 5. They got stepped on by a fiery Heat team in a 120-85 loss at South Beach. We'll see if being back in Philly can make a difference for a Sixers team entering a possible elimination game as two-point favorites. The Philadelphia 76ers are averaging 100 106 points on 47.1% shooting and allowing 105 points on 45.2% shooting. The Philadelphia 76ers are shooting 37.7% from beyond the arc and 84.9% from the free throw line. The Philadelphia 76ers are allowing 30.3% shooting from deep and are grabbing 39.4 rebounds per game. The Miami Heat are averaging 108 points on 46.3% shooting and allowing 98 points on 44.4% percent shooting. The Miami Heat are shooting 32.7% from beyond the arc and 80.4% from the free throw line. The Miami Heat are allowing 33.2% shooting from deep and are grabbing 40.6 rebounds per game. The Heat are 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 road games and 12-5 against the spread in their last 17 games overall. The 76ers are 5-1 against the spread in their last 6 home games and 6-2 against the spread in their last 8 games as a favorite. The under is 8-2 2 in Heat last 10 overall. The under is 7 to 3 in 76ers last 10 overall. The Heat are 1 to 4 against the spread in the last 5 meetings in Philadelphia. After the 76ers evened up the series and gave the city some life, they put up a huge dud on the road Tuesday night in Game 5. It was a brutal night all the way around for Philadelphia, especially for Embiid who was already wearing a mask after sustaining a concussion. Embiid got shaken up in the first quarter when he tried to dive into some baseline seats while attempting to save a loose ball. He was then clocked by Dwayne Dedman and looked visibly injured. He is not the same MVP caliber Embiid we have grown used to this season. Coupled with the fact James Harden can no longer separate from any defenders, Philadelphia is in trouble for Game 6. The Heat smell blood and they have won 13 of their last 17 games overall. The only way the 76ers have a chance is if James Harden brings a throwback 35-plus point effort. That will not happen, and the 76ers will go home on Thursday. So the Miami Heat to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Philadelphia came out rusty and slow on the road during Game 5 and was blown out from start to finish. Tyrese Maxey, who has been great for the majority of this series and all season long for the 76ers, shot 2 for 10. George's Nang, who was huge in Game 4, was 0 for 5. If Embiid is as hurt as he looks, the 76ers will be in trouble again. Surely they will get a boost at home for their role players, but James Harden and Embiid must show up with 30-plus point games and I do not see that happening against an elite defensive Miami Heat Club. It serves both clubs well to play a slow, grinded out tempo that will keep the number low. The total number has gone under in 8 of Miami's last 10 games overall. Further, the total has gone under in 7 of Philadelphia's last 10. We've seen a team score under 100 points 4 times in this series. The Philadelphia 76ers are averaging 99 points in their last 5 games while shooting 44.9% from the field. Joel Embiid doesn't look like himself with his mask on, and Harden continues to struggle outside of a Game 4 explosion. This could be another offensive struggle for at least one particular team. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Phoenix Suns vs. Dallas Mavericks The Phoenix Suns and Dallas Mavericks collide in Game 6 of the Western Conference Semifinals. Up 3-2 in the series, Phoenix will be looking to close out Dallas and advance. The Suns are coming off a dominating 110-80 Game 5 victory. Devin Booker led the way with 28 points, 
while Luka Doncic also contributed 28 in a losing effort. Hoping to force a Game 7, Dallas will look to continue the series trend of the home team winning every game in the series so far. The Dallas Mavericks are averaging 104 points on 44.3% shooting and allowing 104 points on 47.4% shooting. The Dallas Mavericks are shooting 37.4% from beyond the arc and 77.2% from the free throw line. The Dallas Mavericks are allowing 33.8% shooting from from deep and are grabbing 36.2 rebounds per game. The Phoenix Suns are averaging 111 points on 51.7% shooting and allowing 107 points on 45.3% shooting. The Phoenix Suns are shooting 36.5% from beyond the arc and 82.6% from the free throw line. The Phoenix Suns are allowing 36.8% shooting from deep and are grabbing 39.8 rebounds per game. Looking at the betting trends, the Suns are 12 to 3 to 1 against the spread in their last 16 conference semifinals games and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Mavericks are 4-0 against the spread in their last four home games, 18-7 against the spread in their last 25 games against a team with a winning record and 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 9-4 in the last 13 meetings overall. The Suns are 19-7 against the spread in the last 26 meetings overall and the Suns are 9-3 against the spread in the last 12 meetings in Dallas. The Suns gave the Mavs all they could handle in Game 5 and ended up winning by 30 points. Devin Booker dropped 29, while Dean Dryden added 20 in what was a well-balanced team effort especially on defense. Luka Doncic and Jalen Brunson were the only two players who made shots, while Phoenix made an effort to shut everyone else down. That will be the plan going into tonight's game, I think, as it looks like the Suns thrive the most when they allow Luka to have his way but pressure his teammates into taking bad shots. Phoenix has covered the spread in five of their last seven games and versus the Mavs, they are 10-4 against the spread in the last 14 head-to-head. -head. Closing out the series in Dallas won't be easy as the Mavs are 31-13 straight up at home this season but I find it hard to believe they can play as well as they did in games 3 and 4 against a superior Suns team. The Mavs are averaging 103 points per game in this series. That's just not going to cut it at this level. Sure, their defense has been consistent for the most part in home games, but it all boils down to making shots at this stage of the season. If the Suns start off hot in game 6, I'm just not convinced the Mavs can hang around. And when your hopes are that thin coming into an elimination game, I just don't rate their chances of pushing this to a Game 7 all that high tonight. A team like Phoenix should be able to figure things out faster than other teams. They played poorly in their last two trips to Dallas, but I'm expecting a totally different game tonight. Time for Chris Paul to once again turn back the clock and carry the Suns to the Western Conference Finals. The Mavericks have had a great run, but it will end on Thursday, after Phoenix's trip to the NBA Finals last year. Along with being the best team in the NBA this season, I expect the Suns to be locked in and anxious to in this series to get themselves a rest advantage heading into the Western Conference Finals. So the Phoenix Suns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both of these defenses rank in the top 10 in the NBA in scoring with each squad allowing less than 107.5 per game. These units are disruptive and play great defense out on the perimeter with each ranked in the top 5 in opponent 3-point shooting percentage. While the Suns are explosive on offense, Dallas is limited beyond Doncic, relying more on their strong defense. Look for shooters on both sides to struggle to get clean looks in what will be a scrappy, bruising affair. The under is 6-2 in the Mavericks' last eight games and 33-12-1 in all of their home games this season. The under has also been a recent trend in this series going 3-0 in the last three games. Dallas is 14th out of 16 teams in pace during the NBA playoffs, and Phoenix is 9th. The Mavericks have been the best under team in the NBA with a 35-56-2 over under record during the regular season and playoffs. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.